This is Chatsworth Soccer Arena, one of the most competitive places to play pickup soccer in LA. And this is me. And today, I'm here playing Mike Dub to bring you guys the insight from within the field. I'm called a sh Show you guys the level of competition. Get some words from one of the organizers. And just bring you guys the overall vibes that can be found here at Chatsworth Soccer Arena. You guys want a good competition? You guys want a good time? This is the place. This place was actually suggested by a lot of people. A lot of people in the comments, a lot of people that saw my video, they reached out to me and said that this was one of the places that I should check out. And I actually came here a couple weeks ago, but the competition just wasn't there. They told me that if I want competition, you have to come on a Monday. I guess what day it is today. It's Monday. The reason they told me this is so competitive is because people show up here with their teams already decided. I showed up by myself, so I don't know who any of these people are. I've never played with anybody here. But just as I walked inside to the office, I got myself a team. Showed up with a dream, ended up with a team. They put me on the yellow team. We're gonna be a group, a team of people with no chemistry. And we're gonna try to match up against people with a lot of chemistry. We're confident. I'm confident in myself, I'm confident in my team. The chemistry will be there. My team's on the field. My hair's still getting ready. They're building the chemistry for us. Check this out though. Somebody cracked the out of my ankle, but that's not stopping us, ladies and gentlemen. We're firm, we're protected. Nothing's gonna stop us from bringing you guys the content. I might mean, never give myself enough time to stretch. So. We're doing that right now. Are you good, bro? I'll play with whoever. I was mid stretch. I was getting ready to play, and then they just told me none of that. They said, You're going on orange. And they gave me these bibs, bro, but these bibs are falling. Look at this shit, bro. I don't even know what this is supposed to be a part of. I should have brought my mom's kitchen apron, bro. I think that shit holds better than this. How's it look from the back, bro? Oh, bro, groovy. <laughs> This is gonna be like flapping when I run. But I guess it wasn't meant to be with yellow. Man. Glad I didn't build the chemistry with yellow during the warm ups, <laughs> yeah. man, because I gotta be building chemistry with orange. Oh, look, we got another orange? This got suited up, bro. That's how I wanna be. I was too busy complaining about the bib that I forgot to stretch. But nonetheless, it was my team's first opportunity of the night to get on the field. The good thing about this field is that there are no outs. The only time that the play is considered out is when it actually leaves the field. Otherwise you can use the walls and it's non-stop play. And it is covered as well, so anybody's welcome to come and play. Right away, we started trying to build some chemistry, but we were up against a really good team. As we got a feel for the competition, you can see that the red team had a lot of quality. And even though we went down 1-0, our team was here to fight. Have it, have it, have it! Nah. These people are fierce. Hey, hey. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it! Nice, good turn, good turn, good turn. But all that fight still wasn't enough. One game, one L, bro. Not bad for a first game. Not bad for a first performance. We lost by one goal. We'll get another chance right now. We'll make it count. But being outside did give us a chance to see the competition from the outside. But there's some real good quality that shows up to play here. And these people are intense. I don't want to say that they're dirty because I didn't see anybody be too dirty. But they are intense. Like they are going to try very hard to win the game. That's not bad. They weren't kidding, man. There's a lot of people that you could tell like they play together. You could tell they have chemistry and stuff. And here you play for five minutes or first team to score two goals. And as the teams kept going in and out, you can see there literally wasn't a team here that wasn't just pure quality. All right. Well, obviously everyone has their moments. But overall, people were out here balling. Solid. What surprised me the most is that even the goalkeepers were quality. Oh, what a save, man. Which, as we've seen, is pretty rare to find for pickup. Quality. 
quality stuff. I don't know if we're next. I guess there's our answer. Let's get it. We finally had another opportunity to be on the field. Yeah, yeah. And like I said, every other team was straight quality. So my team knew we had to ball out. We weren't trying to be no chumps for the night. You got man, bro. You got man. Line, line. And we honestly dominated the game. But we just weren't putting them away. That's you, that's you, that's you. That's fine. Good try. All the way, bro, if you want, if you want. Good eye, bro, good eye. It was a hard fought battle, a hard fought game. You go, bro. But neither team could score, so another draw meant we had to sit out once again. No, that was a lot better, but I had to keep myself warm. Since it's a lot more waiting time outside when you don't win, we're still trying to find our feet. This game was a lot better. We're, co we're closing the gap. Score was 0-0. We didn't lose. We didn't win. We just couldn't put away our chances. So we just got to be a little bit more a little bit more clinical. Got to have a little bit more finesse. But little did I know that the vibes were cooking outside while I was analyzing the game. This is pretty high quality stuff, man. This is exactly what I'm looking for. I'm trying to find you guys the most competitive fields you guys can play in. I'm trying to show that there are pick-up games for all levels. If you guys consider yourself a beginner, there's places for everybody to play. If you guys consider yourselves an expert, oh, watch this goal, watch this goal. That's in. I call it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, sh that's me. Hold that thought. The time came for us to have another crack at glory. But this time, we were faced up against a team with no bibs. Another team with a lot of quality. I was about to say, these guys with the slick touch, I jinx them. But we wanted our win, so we were here to fight and do whatever it takes to win the game. <laughs> but believe it or not we were still in the middle of our game and the goalie who was actually not even our goalie we actually borrowed him from a different team was doing his best to keep us in the game But again, just not enough for us to score. Almost, man. We just got to put him away, but we keep getting closer. We keep getting closer. But that's all right, because it gave me a chance to go look for El Buki myself. But little did I know that El Buki was actually a fan of me. This is here for a good time. You guys want a good time. You guys want a good competition. You guys want a good time. This is the place. Be sure you guys also follow me on Instagram. On Instagram, that's where I take suggestions to see where you guys want to see me play. This one was highly recommended to me by a lot of people. Oh, right in the middle of the action. I feel like this net's not going to protect me. The comes banging in right here. What do we have going on over there, bro? But what do we have going on over there? Nothing happened. Nothing happened. The peace ensues, as always. I'm going to leave the link to my Instagram on my channel. And I'm also going to put it right here. Some, somewhere somewhere down here. But that's where I'm going to be engaging with you guys. That's where I'm going to be asking people for suggestions on what places I should go check out next. This one was highly suggested to me by a lot of people. And so far, I'm not disappointed. You guys have seen me play all over the place. You guys know I'm willing to drive out. So let me know. I'm also going to have pick-up games where I have my subscribers come out and play with me. You guys can test out the fields with me. Remember, this is all of our channel. This isn't just my channel. This is all of our channel. Every single person that's subscribing to me right now, everybody that's investing into this channel you guys are all a part of the journey and trust me all your investments will be worth it whatever games you guys have going on i'm there you guys have a pickup game coming up i'm there you guys are getting together to play with some friends i'm there your cousin's wedding i'm there the best man the dj the groom bottom line is i'm there not gonna lie all the teams here are pretty good so i think without a doubt the underdog teams are us and the yellow team so right now we're all rooting for the yellow team and whenever we're on, I just hear people saying like, orange score, orange score, because we're the underdogs here. Front row seats, ladies and gentlemen. Forget courtside at the Laker game. You need to be sidelined here at Chatsworth Arena.
Feels like we wait outside for like 20 minutes. Feels like forever before we get to play again. I'm cold again. And once again, we faced off against our original rivals, the red team. So it was a perfect chance for redemption. But no, no. Did it take long for us to get scored on again? But as usual, we would do whatever it took. We were gonna do what we were gonna do whatever it takes for us to score a go okay clearly it looked like we just weren't gonna score things just weren't going in our favor until yeah. nice, let's go nice, what a shot good finish good finish good finish we had finally scored a goal but we still had not won a game we scored a goal that's progress we scored our first goal that's definitely progress in my book we scored a goal but we still hadn't won a game all night. This is what happens when you don't win a game. We were literally the worst team of the night up to this point. This is probably our last chance to get a win for the night. Hopefully this is it. I feel it though. I feel it though. My team's getting closer and closer. We're good. This is it. Yeah, that's you. That's you. Ah, uh, it's your ball. Hey. Turn, turn, turn. Turn. Could Orange, the biggest underdogs finally win a game for the night? My fault. Mm. It didn't happen, man. That was the last chance to get a dub. It didn't happen, man. It wasn't meant to be, but this we got to test out the competition. I really like the competition. The competition is actually high level. So if, if you're looking for a high level Monday at Trash with Arena, it's good competition. You get to test your skills. It's a close field. You guys saw you could play against the wall, so it's it's very high pace. It's very high pace. So it is very physically demanding. But the competition is good, man. I mean a lot of people here seem like they're friends. Even from different teams, it seemed like they were friends. So it helps I guess it helps if you know people here. Some of the fouls were hard, and as you guys have seen from my videos and as you guys will continue to see from all my videos, I don't go in for the 50-50. It's not worth getting hurt, it's not worth hurting somebody else. It's not that serious. When a player is against the wall, I'm not gonna bang him into the wall. I'm gonna try to take the ball from him, but I'm not gonna go in dirty, I'm not gonna try to hit anybody against the wall. Overall, Oh, good vibe we saw the fans the fans creating a good atmosphere so overall good experience i wish we had a little bit more playing time i wish we had won a game that's what we're here for but it wasn't meant to be now we know what to expect if we were to come again and now you guys know what to expect if you guys come all right guys we're here with martin vasquez martin vasquez thank you for having us martin what can you tell us about the games here man i feel like here is uh shows a lot of competition in the valley this is like a big pickup community where a lot of players just come out here and practice off season and even in season as well do they have pickups any other days or just mondays they do but with me i work with an app called pezzo <laughs> They have games organizing it, but it's not like Monday nights. Monday nights was already created for me. This was already a rental All Valley pickups with how I started, and then I collabed with Pezzo. But okay. Mondays is the most competitive, like you said. Wait, how's the vibe here? The vibe, um, I feel like everybody knows each other because the Valley is, is such a big place, but it's also small. So they all know each other, and I feel like the vibe is friendly. At the same time, it's competitive, as you can tell. It gets heated, but in the day, we just leave it on the field, man. Nothing yeah. outside. It just stays yeah. competitive inside the field. The way it should be, bro. Yeah, exactly. What did you think of the, today's game, man? It was good. A lot of youngsters come, a lot of new faces, what I like. I feel like a lot of new guys came out today, so a lot of new talent, which I really yeah. like. But what did you think of my performance, man? I know I wasn't on the field much because my team didn't get any wins, bro. I'm going to be honest. I, I just showed up not, not in early games, uh, but what I hear and I've seen you play, you're a good player, man. You can keep up with these guys. I'll say, if you haven't been here, come out here, 8.15 8 to 10 o'clock at Chatsworth Soccer Arena. Come check it out. Follows and all Valley pickups as well. Martin, appreciate your time, Good stuff, brother. bro. All right. I'm going. Thanks, you too, brother. Thank you, man. All right, guys, so there you have it. Another successful game. You guys didn't hear it from me. You guys heard it from our boy Martin. Even though we didn't win, but we had friends, and the real victory are the friends we make along the way. I didn't talk to anybody on my team, but regardless, it was a good experience. Let me know where you guys want to see me play next. Like I said, I'm willing to go wherever you guys want me to go. So just be sure to follow along. Just be sure to subscribe. Remember to follow me on Instagram. And we finally answered the question, ladies and gentlemen. Does chemistry make a difference? And as we saw, it makes all the difference. Without chemistry, you have nothing. I really don't know if my team liked me or not, but that's irrelevant. All right, I'm going to go home. I'm going to go home and snuggle. I'll see you guys at the next game.